What's going on gamers? I am back. Now I had some unexpected company staying over during the info explosion that was this last week. So now rather than concentrate on all of the changes, I just want to point out a few things that Bungie showed that maybe you missed. Now before I can get into that, I have a few shoutouts to do. Now I want to give a shout out to Marshall Angel, George Horton, Lexman5000, Ashley Erickson, and Gavin Fairchild for also following me on Twitter. So the first thing that I want to point out is the Service Arsenal pre-order video. Now here's the screen grab. You can see this is where you get any emotes you pick up where they will be located at. Now another curious thing is where did the ghost shells go? Because in the next expansion it has been confirmed that there are new ghost shells coming. Now there's a ton of stuff going on in this picture. The Titan is sporting a new Soros gun with the craziest Titan arms. <laughs> yeah, them shoulder pads. I mean those could be King's Fall Titan arms, the new raid armor. The Hunter has what looks like the new Iron Banner Hake sidearm, and the Warlock has what looks like the Warlock's questline gun with Omelon stamped on the side. And oh yeah, what is that helmet he's wearing? That's gotta be a new exotic. If it is, it may not be the only one in the video, because later on we see this shot. Look at those antlers from the back, now it does look exotic. Another interesting thing is this shot of the Guardians moving through Russia. Now the first thing I thought is where is this area? And during the Sepix Prime strike, the ship in the background looks familiar. Well, if you had quick eyes during the E3 reveal, you may remember this shotgun. But look in the background, see how it looks open now? Now, is that not enough info? Well, how about this promo shot connecting the two areas? When the Taken King launches, some of the areas that we still have not been led into will now be open, including a strike called the Fallen Saber. That will take you to the odd door by the grottos. You know, the one that people have speculated that it has something to do with the Seven Seraphs. You know, the one that I said a long time ago that were related to the War Mines and Rasputin. <clears throat> okay, moving along. Uh, want more clues? Let's look at the Collector's Edition on Bungie.net. Yes, in the background you can see the Sleeper Simulant, but look at the cards in the front. See the spade symbol on them? Now why would that be relevant? Well, let's look at this hand cannon. Notice how it has the same symbol stamped on it? Yeah, that's got my curiosity going. Now lastly, with a bit of editing, you can see most of the space battle of the Awoken forces coming to stop the Treadnought before it possibly settles into Saturn's ring, and you can see them in order. In the middle of all this commotion, there is a catch, which is supposed to be a fallen ship, but I think this may have the Awoken on board, since everything else in the space fight are of course reef ships. Then you see Oryx set his eyes on his foes, stamps down his sword and throws down some flames, now I have to assume this is where you will see the flames go throughout the ship, and the end effect is the EMP blast which looks like either upsets or kills the Queen's brother, Uldren. There are so many changes coming to this game that it's going to feel pretty different from what we're used to. Weapons, gear paths, quest lines reorganized into menu systems, the simplifying of armor parts and marks. Just about every vendor down to Banshee44 will have their own reputation systems and specific things to do. When I said that friends of mine who were playtesting this said it felt like what Destiny 2 would feel like, now I think you guys have a much clearer idea of what that meant. Oh, and one last thing. Out with Dinklebot, and in with Northbot. <laughs> well guys, if you like this type of content, just hit the like button, or leave a comment, or if you just want to see some more, hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, have a good one.